I so, gotta find out how to save it though. Hold on. Uh, you hit upload. Oh, bottom, bottom right corner. There okay. it is. Preparing your upload. Yep. All right. Now, so what? What Bonnie just suggested, and it's a thing. Seems like a good idea. So, Bonnie, I, I am. I am right next to, and have started to. Maybe you saw some emails just flying just now. Um, think about our presentation at NCTE. Yes, I just so saw what email. And Janelle, Janelle, let me let me uh, frame this this way. One of one of in, in workshops, could we do um, instead of talking about AI and so showing what our kids are doing? All that's wonderful. Um, but could we actually give people an experience of writing with AI and mm -hmm. and then kind of see what happens from that, right? Um, and on the site now, there are four writing partners that are very simple writing partners, relatively simple writing partners, and you have access to them. Do you know, but the next step is going to be, and so that's what you're practicing with us, which I hope is fine. You can then maybe go do that with people if you'd like to you would have a you know perfect right to and we could set that up for you just to play if you'd like to at some point. But um Janelle, if you don't mind presenting at this point. Sure. Is that okay? So do you see where present is and then you have to find your screen and then share that screen? Oh yeah, I gotta get uh I gotta figure it's a little out. different than Zoom, but yeah. yeah and it's I? different than mine too unfortunately. Present. Ta da okay my screen next. And then you have to find the tab that is on writing. Purpose. So Janelle mm -hmm. just spent five minutes writing. So that would be the idea. Come into a workshop, spend five minutes writing. I mean, Bonnie, you and I did this more or less um, at the Philadelphia Writing Projects yes. Symposium, right? Yes. So not inventing anything new here, but trying to see if it works. And also, also what made me come in, Paul, I am um, presenting at St. Joe's, uh, at a St. Joe's event this weekend, prize, um, Philadelphia educators of um, STEM educators. And oh, cool. About What's St. Joe's? St. Joe's. where it is. What? St. Joseph's University. You know that. Oh, that, oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. That basketball team that wins the sweets in yes. the 16. So you're presenting? Are yes. you doing writing partners or do you have a plan already? No, I'm doing um, about my dissertation. Okay. Janelle, are you sharing screen yet? Or, I'm or trying. Let's there? see here. What's, what's it doing? Did you have mm -hmm. to change your browser? Yeah, yeah. Well, I have. I'm all on the same tab now, and I'm I'm clicking the entire screen trying to share that. And it's um. I also share video system, audio system. It's a little, little, little funky here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. If you go to present, you should be able to share, click on the screen, and then it'll look funny. But then you'll go out to the tab you're on, and click on that tab, and that'll show up. I think. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's try one more time. Let me get back here. Sometimes browsers have it blocked. Oh, maybe that's what's going on, huh? So I could share. Okay, why don't you share? Should, should I do that? Yeah. And then I'll just find your document. Oh wait, can um, I put the, can I put the link to the document in the chat and then you share? Um, just actually. Go to the document and find invite. Okay. Top left corner and invite me at Allison, A L L I S O N P R, okay. at gmail.com. And then mm -hmm. I'll be able to find it. Email me about comments. Invite. There we go. All right. One more time for your co contact people Allison, A L L I S O N P R, at gmail.com. Right. That's got it. Yeah. All right, invitation. Let's 
coming your way. Okay. And Paul, I just want to say out loud while we're waiting for that part, um, Janelle, I don't know if you know, how my um, special education students do very well using writing partners. Is that right? I, I'm serious, Paul. I've never seen anything like it before. And it even um, gives them the confidence uh -huh. of being a writer, you know, because I, I don't know. I don't. I can't even say because, because I don't know what the because. Is. It's really, so you're not sure why. It, yeah. Huh. But it's fantastic for them, and they love it, and they're able to follow my directions through my voice and not just through reading, and then they just do it. It hmm. is amazing. Cool. So I'm sharing screen now. Correct. I mean. Yes. That's cool. And Bonnie, we need to like notice why so we can, you know, get this out to people. So right. just, yeah, thank thank you for the comment. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you for thank you for sharing this publicly. You just wrote it. <laughs> okay. So here's the idea. Um, you are going to go to and actually, you know what? Yeah, I, I think I think um, I think I can become you. Let me do that. What you know? What this? Okay. Oh, she got lost. She's coming back. Okay, I'm back. I imagine. Okay, so I have become yeah. you now. Okay, so, mm -hmm. but and I think we can still both work on the same document. Um, but we'll see if that's a problem. But I'm going to be you. Okay, and you try it to yourself, but here's here's our first step. I'm gonna ask you now to take this piece of writing and apply four different writing partners to it. And I don't know if that'll be too many, but that's sort of what we're testing. The first one we're gonna use, I'm gonna click on AI over here on the right side. Do you see it? Oh, yep. and you did not enable yet, so I'm gonna go in and enable the AI. Uh, anyway, yes, there was a little box right yeah, there. Yeah, when you click, um, create document up at the top and create, it asks you a certain thing, it has a little checkbox under where the title is. Mm -hmm. Um, to enable AI, yep. Okay, now, by the way, and, and I'm, I'm happy if you don't mind having a moment to have all these sidebars. But one of the sidebars is this. Um, a month or six weeks ago, and then a for a few weeks, we looked at African-American language, um, mm -hmm. English, and Black language. And I created four different writing partners that adopted and had embedded in it um, articles and lists of, of all of that. Um, then I asked the question a few different times and got answers like, mm, I got whatever. Um, and then I decided, so I'm just putting it out there, um, that why do we have separate black language writing partners? Why don't we just infuse everything with that? All right. Mm -hmm. And that's a long introduction, which I wouldn't do in a, a, any other workshops, but to say that when we click on the AI over here next to general document comments, mm -hmm. and we choose the, um, we choose the, notice you have four that come up for you. Um, when you choose the improv teammate, that improv teammate has embedded in it an improv actor mm. who's going to do a yes and with you, and it has the African American perspective, language perspective in it. All oh, right? that's cool. That's cool. Um, and and so more and more, that's what I'm doing. I'm just sort of integrating it all over the place. It's going to be our secret sauce, <laughs> if I could say that. Um, no, seriously, yeah. I I think it's um even it's even better than secret sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, Janelle mentioned before we started recording some of her concern about bias. Mm -hmm. And 
this is not a complete answer at all. And in fact, it may even be a, I'll, I'll just say it's not a complete answer, but at least the writing partners that have that infused have that bias somewhat corrected. The standard, you know, white American English, that robotic English that comes back right. is filtered through this other thing as well. Janelle, are you still with us? I am. I am still with Okay, good, good. So, so when you pulled up improv teammate there, and I'm not going to do it, I think you should do it. Um, ask it a question that's related to the paragraph you wrote. Some simple question like, hey, what do you think about libraries or something? You know. And if you had the time to read through it, I'll say it very quickly. It's going to give you a kind of snappy one paragraph response to what you've written there. It's uh, It likes you. It's an improv teammate in that its goal is to keep the conversation going, right? As if it's on stage. But ask it a quick question and then hit continue. And then I'll refresh and we'll see what you came up with. All right, I'm going to improv and I'm gonna ask a question about my writing. Is that the goal here? Yeah, about what you wrote in, yeah. that, in that paragraph. Okay, Sorry, go ahead. Check. Bonnie, if you have a good way to say yeah, it. Yeah, Bonnie, help me out. <laughs> so you can ask it, um, either you might want it to consider what you wrote. Does it have any other suggestions for you? Okay. So I, I think what I'm trying to do here is um, all to, I just, you know, I just wrote a couple sentences and I think ultimately what I'm going to try to do is ask this library to adopt um, some sort of banned books week um, uh, like um, shelf uh, for banned books week in, you know, in late September, early October. So this is um, persuasion. So I wonder if the question might be is like, mm -hmm. how persuasive, Yes. how persuasive, persuasive, hold on, is this uh, writing for the, um, for the target audience? Mm -hmm. How about that question? That's good. So do, does it know your target audience? Because that would go in one of those other boxes. Like so that. It says as additional information. Okay, well, can I do like dash dash uh, library systems director? Should I you do could that? Do it, but do you see the box right below your question? That's yeah. where Bonnie was. Put, put it in there. Okay. I'll put it there. So you don't have to do dash dash. Yeah. The audience is. Okay, the guy got you. The audience. And by the way. Mm -hmm. So I was just going to say, um, and this, these are some of the subtleties that it's nice for us with this, just the three of us to talk through. Um, with the improv teammate, you could your question matters more than with some of the other ones. Yeah. So what you're asking is perfect, but you could say also, um, you know, what's your opinion of uh, banned books? And it would go there, right? Some of the writing partners kind of stay on their own planet. This one goes with whatever you ask it to do. So go ahead and hit continue when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I clicked it. Uh, okay. Here's the AI, AI results to edit. Okay. Now notice that you could resubmit if you'd like. But this is a workshop and we need to move on. Okay. <laughs> so, but so hit continue mm -hmm. or what's it is it is it um start conversation I think. yeah, yeah. Start. You start conversation now yes. yes okay i'm gonna click start start conversation and now it's pulled itself into the um sidebar yes okay now, and i'm actually, refreshing oh, and we can see it now. okay here it is now you can see it now okay yes yep okay who wants to read that bonnie would you mind <laughs> Sure. Thanks. You, uh, so you asked it, Janelle, how persuasive is this for the audience? Your introduction is heartfelt and helps establish a strong connection with the library systems director by showcasing your appreciation for library services. That mention of the Sinos ties, is that how you say that word? Yes. Oh, great. And ties in community engagement effectively. 
emphasizing the collective value placed on these services. Highlighting personal experiences at the library also strengthens your argument by giving it a relatable and grounded context. The mention of missing banned books week flags an area of concern in a respectful manner, setting up for further discussion or suggestions. Does this sound like insight you would be you would find helpful? If you want to dive deeper into other elements of writing, just let me know. I would say reply with AI. Okay. And, um, and yeah, what do you want to ask? Keep it going. Right. I I just, would, yeah, I, I just clicked reply with AI and now yeah. what? Um, what other insights might be helpful? Okay. Give, give it its question right back. There we go. My oh, I like that idea. Might be helpful. Is that going to give it enough? Do you think? Yeah, you can well, see what we'll it does, see. or you can ask it specifically. Give me three ideas. Give me four ideas of what might be helpful about, about how to um, be more persuasive. How to be more persuasive. Well, see, I would need a different uh, tool for that because there's an outlining tool in there, and I can I could get you. You can get that whole. We're gonna thing. get there. We're gonna get there. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. All right. I click send. Yeah. Um, it also says save reply. I'm gonna click save reply, and now it probably popped over to the right. Yes, it did. Okay. Good. Do you want to read this one? Sure. One yeah, approach to persuasiveness might be to weave in statistics or testimonials that illustrate the impact and popularity of Banned Books Week in similar communities. Mm. Numbers often speak loudly, providing concrete mm. evidence that can sway decision making by showing proven demand or outcomes. This could strengthen your case by offering more weight to why such an initiative is a valuable addition. Are you interested in, in exploring additional suggestions or persuasion techniques? Oof. What I would be interested in is what statistics or testimonials are available out mm. there in the world. So then yeah. I would do reply with AI and get a different partner. I wouldn't use improv partner for that. I would use a specific partner that can help me with facts and data. So it, 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 which fact checker thing is in there that would help her with that? That uses. Yeah, I'm not. Like, yeah, I'm not. Sure. I, I, yes, I totally agree with you. Um, I don't think we're set up for that. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to come back to um, if you, um, uh, at the bottom, this is the, I want to go to the next easy, quote unquote, easy one. And it's okay. called, and this is sort of a new thing. Again, just to say quickly, um, using black language research and so forth, but also research into voice and writing. So there's a voice coach. Um, so go back up to general documents, comments. And yep. Again, you could have gone on with the improv. And thank you so much for being our guinea pig here. Of course. <laughs> um, right next to the hit the AI button again, this time AI? to, yep. This yeah, time to, you know, of course, it's my pleasure. Yeah, because this Paul time, really doesn't hear how I even talk to my students with this. Uh -huh. So yeah, hit the voice coach now. Voice coach, got it. And I just uh, called it that recently, but we'll see what happens here. And then ask it a similar question, like, oh, what do you think of my, you know, my writing, something, it could be something very simple, but it could also be more specific yeah. up to you. Well, and does it need to know that this is like a letter to a community member that ha that holds power in the community? That's useful. Yep. yep. Okay. But I'd put that below, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So my question is going to be, what do I, what do you think of my writing? And then this is a letter to a, um, um, a community member who holds power, who holds power 
in the library system. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just to be clear, um, because you went back up to the top, the AI is not going to know what the improv teammate said. I already told you. Okay, good to know. Oh, you said that already? I'm sorry. Oh, I already right. clicked. Continue. That's That's <laughs> I didn't fine. mean to, but, it, but I did. No, that's okay. okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start conversation. It's going to keep going below with my new, mm -hmm. my new box. Okay. So <laughs> I'll read this one. Uh, this one says, hey there. I'm really feeling the way you're expressing your love for the library and its goodness. Let's drive into what you've laid down, all right? First off, I love how you start on a positive note by talking about how how much you and your the the Senos dig the, the library scene. That kind of energy draws folks in, makes them want to listen to what you got to say. Your use of Spanish, like the saying, <laughs> say it. For the me, Sinos, huh? the Sinos. Yeah. Thank you. Adds a nice touch to your voice, showing the connection with your community and and keeping it real. Mm. Now, when you switch gears to talk about the band book weeks, it's clear you've got some concerns on your mind. You're you're bringing attention to the important issues here, highlighting what's missing. One th one thing though, around one thing though, around around hair. hair That's hair he being, <laughs> hair be, being back in recently. recently. That's crazy. That's a crazy reply. There's a little mix up. Why did she say hair? Oh, maybe I, I have a typo. Oh, yeah, that's all it is. So it's just yeah. says, there's a little mix up in the word order. Maybe another look at that part thumbs through clearer to your audience. Fair enough. <laughs> Instead of saying, hey, you got that wrong. <laughs> I don't hmm. like that one, Paul. I don't like what don't you like? It's too much clipping off of the ings. Yeah, I well, I agree with you on that. Um, yeah, we can we can work on that. But um, hit reply with and AI also, and, ask, and it, can, even though you wanted to speak in a familiar way, can it be like familiar slash formal? Yes, familiar slash intellectual. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thing is, yes, we can. The thing is, it doesn't stay in this voice. It it kind of shifts um, okay. as we've seen in the past. But it's okay. But it's a absolutely. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It was too too clippy. Let's mm -hmm. put that way. But Janelle, could you add one more comment there though? Reply with AI. Reply with happens. AI. Okay. What do we got? You want me to, you want me to just, yeah, uh, so see, use, use okay. the same, use the, use the voice coach again. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Um, just asking for more feedback. Yeah. You can just, you at the you can end. just say Sorry. yes. Go for yes. It. I want more. That's feedback. it. That's all I got to say. Question or statement. Yes. yes. Okay. Continue. That works sometimes. So, sometimes. and I'm saying this to Bonnie, I'll say it to everyone. Um, so what I'd learned by using this, I didn't know it would work this way. Is like, what happens is, and we have prepared many of these writing partners to prepare an entire long answer and then only give us two paragraphs mm -hmm. and then say, and then tell us, or one paragraph in some case, and then to ask us if we want to continue. And then if we say yes, it'll continue, continue, continue. Right. However, if you hit reply instead of reply with AI mm -hmm. and say, hey, what I'm thinking about now is and you redirect it with the reply, and then you hit reply with AI, it redirects its its um, its answer to you. Wow. Right? So, so you can take control of the conversation that way. Um, and I don't know how to make that clear to users. Um, in yeah, the, that's, you know, practice. that's practice. That's practice yeah. using the, the program. I noticed some of your students are doing that already. I don't know how they got to that. But um, just wanted to mention it. Anyway, Janelle, did you do another one? Yeah, yeah. I said yes. Okay. And so it gave, it gave me some more feedback here. Okay. I'm going to, uh, let's see if it's still clipping stuff off. It is sort of moving. Yeah. Although I, I agree with the, the language stuff. However, I kind of like the way it talked about your use of Spanish. Yes. It kind of got, got to me better than the improv guy did 
Mm -hmm. But I hope, Janelle, if you're seeing some difference, and in a workshop, I hope people would see a difference between what they're getting from these two writing partners. And you would then sort of choose what you want. Does that make some sense? Are they different enough? Or what are you thinking when you see them? There's no right answer to that. I think <laughs> no, the, voice, just... the voice coach is written in a way in which someone might speak. Mm. And uh -huh. like to your, uh, like, uh, like Bonnie, to your point, um, it's, you know how sometimes it's hard for, it's hard to read dialogue sometimes when it is written in a way in which you would speak it. Mm. You know, that's chal right. it's challenging when you're write, reading narrative text and there's dialogue. And so I just wonder about that is if it's worth the, um, the, the clipped off G's. Um, it's not. We're going to fix that. Don't worry. I, yeah. I would. I mean, yeah. I think yeah. I think, you know, young people, young people need to try it out and and, mm -hmm. and see how how it works for them. And if they like this better, it might be nice to have like a voice, uh, a, a, you know, a, a, an avatar with a voice say the things. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Now taking it next level. <laughs> Next level, next level. <laughs> Bring that avatar in with that voice. I mean, that'd be kind of right. cool. We're gonna go next level now. <laughs> Let's, do it. Let's do it. Here and here's your challenge, and it's actually a perfect one for this. Um, go back up to general document comments. Hit AI again. Hit the AI button again. Got it. This time, this time, choose the imagined audience simulator. Love that. Okay. Love, love, love that. I think you were around maybe when we were discussing this. One. Yes, yes. And, and okay, now, let's this mm -hmm. time let's start in the third box. I call it. Okay. I don't know why. Yep. Right. Okay. And describe who is going to read this. Mm. Okay. The you reader. Can some, you can go into some detail there. Is a uh, library systems director systems. A director who manages, who leads, who leads a um, large team. Um, I'm trying to get to the point like he's busy, right? Long, uh, yeah, large team good. in the city. Take your time. It's okay. Yeah. In the city. I mean, absolutely taking your time to do this is a good idea. I and agree. as you're doing it, I'll talk over it and say, um, Chris Sloan has his students investigate colleges they want to go to and then they make up whole profiles of college admissions officers so they actually take another assignment to do that first before they come to this guy oh that's so cool yeah that's, that's um, what's up and and i i write a lot about ai so that a teacher i you've heard me say this before <laughs> bonnie but I'll, um a, a teacher in texas who banned ai from her classroom wrote a really interesting article about why and so I take her whole article and put it in that box and say, talk to me the way this teacher would talk, would, you know, respond to my writing. Right. Well, okay. So anyway, I've got me. Talking while you have it. Okay. You got, do you have in there um, how you think this person is going to respond to your writing? To uh, no, no. So I write us. Write a short note like that, like you will. I think maybe something like he may consider uh, my request, my request. I I wonder if it has to like there's some bureaucracy um, or some like nonpartisanship that he's trying to, um, mm -hmm. you know, kind of. Um, there's some reasons why, ban, you know, the ban book uh, week is not like present there. So. I think yeah, he okay, made my request, but he is also very busy. How about that? Sounds good. Now, let's keep it pretty simple in the question. You could just say something like, um, what do you, or how, I don't know. How are you going to, re remember, you're talking to this person now. Right. You're say, how are you going to respond to my Yeah, it's like, what points do you letter. find persuasive? Like, yeah. yeah. Or, or yeah. Okay. What points um, did you find persuasive? Can I do a two part question? Sure. Persuasive. And will you? Um, well, he. I didn't even get to my. I don't even think I got to my um, my my call to action yet, really. But and will you? Um, 
It's okay. Accept my call to action. How about that? Okay, we're going to click continue. I'm very excited about the imagined audience simulator. Very, very excited. Um, by the way, the the um, question and or statement box state, uh, used to have a limit. There's now no limit. You could write as long as you wanted to in there. Um, but you're hitting continue, and I'm going to hit refresh, and we're going to see what you got. Well, you got a lot. <laughs> Do you uh, want to read it? Oh, wait. he's writing in Spanish? Really? Yes. Look at that. It's beautiful. My um, my Spanish is not. Um, I'm not. I'm not good enough to to be able okay. to read this. Um, go to reply with AI and just say, "Can you translate this to English?" See if it okay. do that. I think it might use the same. Um, use the same writing partner. Using the, using the same um, language. No, using the same words. How about that? Okay, let's yeah. try that. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see. Um, resubmit. Let's see what we got there. Resubmission. Oh, original. You can translate. Okay, let's. Uh, you can translate the words using the same. Okay, let's do this. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Okay, resubmit. I don't know what I'm doing. Re resubmit. Resubmit gives you another version. You want to um, save save one of them. Once you get two versions, and then you want to um, save save the reply. Okay, translation. Let's see. Let's see. Continue. Let's see if that'll help. If not, we could go back to the beginning and just. End yeah. Why don't I do take it? my nope? Let me. So go back me... to the beginning. Ask the same question. I think the. Um, I think your description will stick in there, by the way. Okay. So you're going back to general document comments. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to get get rid of there. I'm going to get rid of the um, languages that he speaks in my description of the person I'm writing to. There oh, wait, no, just, you gave him languages in that description? Yes. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I missed. There we go. Save reply. Um, I had to make my box smaller so I could, didn't see the save reply. Okay. Ugh, we're still in Spanish. <laughs> it's okay. Go, go back to it again. Try it again. And in the in the prompt at the beginning, in the question box, just say, please do this in English. I do this in English. I'm going to check really quickly. Uh, if... what, uh, what do you think about this call to action? How about that? Continue. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Please wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Start conversation. Ah, uh, greetings. Okay, I think we're there. <laughs> I'm okay. refreshing so we can see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> there it is. So what do you think? Does is this sound like somebody who might read your piece? I understand, appreciate your concern. Mm. I like the opening paragraph. You and I may differ yeah. in our immediate yeah. priorities. Um, I knew he. I knew that this person would say say something like that. Mm. Okay. Balance the diverse needs and expectations of the community by navigating logistical and budgetary constraints. Protecting All right. Now, yeah. Yeah, I, and we're kind of rushing through, but I, I want to get to the last one. Um, okay. Do you see? Do you see the line? And it says, "Please note, yeah. this was designed. This isn't right." It's the disclaimer. Yeah, we really want kids to understand that, you know, this isn't a real person. This is right. But then the questions are really important, right? Do you see those three questions there? And hopefully that will guide your writing, you know, right? Yeah, imagine transforming your call to action. And how about I'm asking my students to have a call to action on their benchmark? They have to have something. Beautiful. And I was already thinking, Bonnie. I'm looking at I'm looking at this reply, and I'm already thinking about how I might re revise the letter That's to even be one step ahead of like I knew you were going to say that, so I'm going to address right. it right at the top. Yeah, like you know, you've got competing, you know, you've got competing things happening, and blah blah blah, like whatever. All right. Yeah. Um, one more. <laughs> okay, we one can more. Sneak this in. 
Um, go to the, go back to the top, general yep. document comments, hit the AI button, and this time choose the outlining tool. Oh, Got it. Yes. Um, this is going to give you, by the way, this one also integrates the African American language. Mm -hmm. um, Persuasive. And, and, she was talking about persuasive. Yeah, yeah. So how do you, so this is something Bonnie and I figured out. Mm -hmm. This outlining tool will give you three different outlines, but you can kind of direct it. You can say, give me three persuasive letters, mm -hmm. or you can say, give me a compare contrast. Yeah. Right. So in the question or statement box, tell it what you, what you're writing and ask it for an outline for that. Mm -hmm. Do you need more help? Yeah, well, well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, okay, so I've got a little bit of this, uh, of my letter written. Yes. Is the idea then like, hey, can you help me? Can you help me with my next piece? Or can you help right. me with that last piece? But it, it will yeah. outline everything for you. Okay. And then that way you get the help to revise in seeing how you could put the parts together as one. Okay, so like, please give me an outline for the rest of this letter. Or Something yeah, that's fine. You, it, yeah, you could try to rest, but you could just yeah. say, could you outline this letter using everything that we've talked about or we discussed? So, um, and I don't like so what I don't like using human um, pronouns when I mm. talk to a oh, okay. I am, like almost everything I. Uh, wrote so far, wrote so far. Okay, and then what do I got to write in that third box? Anything? Nothing. Is no, it no. what type? I don't What's think you'll need it. Of the writing. Is it okay. persuasive? I would write that. This is a persuasive letter. This is, you know, what genre are you writing in? Okay, so I, I just added that, but it says please wait. So I might need to go back and add that piece again because I got a little excited about That's my funny. outline. Fine, that's it's fine. okay. No, you don't need it. It's yeah, okay. you know, it might pick. You it it up. Might, it might even pick it up huh? because you said persuasive early on. Well, but I've used multiple different writing partners, though. Are they? Yeah. But, so here's the yeah. There's an answer to that. Have you have you hit continue yet? You or you do? I finally. Yeah, I got it in here now. Oh, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah. Did you start the conversation? I started the conversation. Yep. If you scroll oh, down, okay. Yeah. Sorry. So I, I jumped. I jumped. To, I, so I'm getting. So here's the deal. If if at the bottom of one of the other partners, you had um, mm. you had used the outlining tool, mm. it would it would take into consideration what that other partner wrote. Mm -hmm. I think putting that letter in there would kind of confuse things, mm. right? And not the letter. The response from the the audience. So I had you go back to the beginning. All right. <laughs> but so it's, well, it's, it's you not taken in the go back to the beginning. You can use the outlining tool as a reply with AI from yes. the information already gathered from AI. Yes, you could do it either way. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Okay, so you came up with three here. You have a traditional organization. Yeah, Notice it's pulling it's pulling quotes from your text mm -hmm. to give you ideas of how this would work. Um, it's giving you an African American English rhetorical pattern. What's it do with this one? Appreciation and connection, observation, and surprises. Sometimes it's not much different, which I think is an interesting notice thing right. to notice. And so what when that happened with students, I told them, tell it a different genre. Mm -hmm. And but see I, yeah. what it comes up with. But I think these are three pretty unique outlines. Mm -hmm. And one and again, was, of, go ahead. What do you think, Janelle? It was just I mean, I'm very, very excited about that. You can tell, right? You know, usually I'm I'm quiet i'm quiet and i listen to everything bonnie has to say but now i have something to say and that is that with this outline tool i think we can get kids to be thinking rhetorically yeah. about who they're writing to and which outline would best perhaps represent not only their rhetorical patterns but those of the people that they're writing to 
And I think that there's there's real value in that, especially as it as it pertains to using writing to achieve your own goals in your own community. So especially, Janelle, you're so right, especially for audience and purpose, because the outline helps center their purpose. They don't lose track of you know the thoughts that they've already expressed. And it keeps everything in line and it just brings them back full circle. So. And that, and some kids, they want to start writing. They want to just get to that writing. Right. So this is, this is kind of um, showcasing the ways in which writing is not linear. We can pause and write our outline halfway through with a little help from AI. Right. And then keep going based on which outline structure we want to go with. Right. And we can make alterations and revisions based upon it. thinking if we go down a different street would we'll take exactly. a left or a right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that might be why the special ed students are very successful using this platform and completing assignments. Why, why? say that again? Um, because they have their own choices and because a lot of special education students aren't linear. They don't do things one, two, three, four, five, or A, B, C, D, E. You know, their 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 thinking goes in different spaces and places, but they're always trying to get back on the track of where educators are asking them to be. And and in using a tool like this, they're able to pick and choose and and still be on the right track. So that's very interesting. I I mean, Janelle, you just pointed that out for me by saying that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing, Paul. It's great. Oh, cool. So let me I mean I mean with with the um correction of the uh the losing the G on every ING with correct formalizing that voice a little bit, right? Yeah. I think that voice one actually goes in we didn't see it as much, so let me just argue that and I want to go back and pull it out, but it goes more in depth into your your sort of structure of, of how you're saying something. But yes. anyway, hopefully, hopefully these four give you a real good sense of how you can use AI in different parts of the writing process or a writing process, right? Does this feel like a good experience for teachers to do? And yes, because now I want to put my dissertation in there and get my whole dog on um, presentation on there. <laughs> But it wouldn't take my dissertation because it's in a PDF file because I can create a whole Saturday presentation using it with the outline tool and everything. And boop, 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 boop. It's all in PDF. You don't have it anywhere else. No. Nope. Okay. All right. I, 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 I'll see if I but can. Seriously, but I, I do want to come around and ask this again, though. Does this like what? If you had 90 minutes with, with a group of teachers, is this a good way? I, I'm arguing that this is a, maybe a good way to, like, instead of talking about it, instead of seeing what other people are doing, go in and do some writing, see how you feel about what it does. Does this make sense? Yes. I was going to say, it was, yes, it was, it was valuable for me, but I'm wondering if it was valuable for you all to help me do the thing too so small groups yeah small yeah. group breakouts that kind of thing that's i mean so there's a teacher helping the student kind of yeah well no there's like, one person per group like one person yes. is doing, like, just like we did it paul you have a uh -huh. leader you have a sidekick and then you have the person that's doing the action you know and just like you did it paul we shared the reading so that each person can focus in a different lane at, mm -hmm. at specific times. Um, and then, you know, whoever's used to using it, we see what's happening and we're able to ask the user, the person doing the typing, what is it that they see? What is it that they want? Because we were able to ask Janelle, yeah. you were able to ask her, what exactly are you looking for to, for yeah. to do? And once she told you, I kind of chimed in behind that and said, well, then try this. But you had specific mm -hmm. working partners that you wanted her to use. So yeah. you, helped and this, her, you helped us stay on track are, while I go all over the place. No, that's, that's cool. These are the four, by the way, that um, 
are available to everybody as soon as they log in oh, without okay. being in any, in any groups, okay. right? So that's worth knowing. Um, I <laughs> the the person like me probably should know about what's going on already, and then yeah, I think that's a nice idea. Jeff, thank you. Before, I like yeah. the idea that you, the developer and designer, doesn't always know what's going on and the program still behaves safely to benefit young people and adults because that's what people are going to be concerned about. Is it safe? Mm -hmm. And it is safe. And, and even though it's doing its thing, and sometimes you don't know what, it's, what you don't know why it's doing it, but you know right. what it should do. But it's safe. Cool, cool. Um, quick idea, Bonnie. You'll notice it because I was on your account and I didn't realize it when I was testing this. But whenever there, whenever there are moments when I think, oh, if I go to perplexity, I could ask this question, or if I go to ChatGPT, I could ask this question, I've been like stopping myself and say, no, let me just go to writing partners and okay. ask it there, right? So I had this like, crazy idea out on a run that I want to recognize people like you and Chris Sloan and others who are using the site, right? And what can we call those people? We've called them ambassadors, this and that. And I had this idea because um, on a, a path over here, there are stewards of the path, right? Mm -hmm. So so I I want to call you all AI stewards. Right? Okay. So I just put that in and said, hey, um, does AI stewards make any sense? And then I had the improv guy come back and say, gave me a paragraph about, yeah, that's a good idea because it shows this and shows that. And I gave you confidence to go ahead with that. Idea. So you're an AI steward, Bonnie. Okay. We're, <laughs> we're going to get a page and highlight you. <laughs> and Anne, I want to tell you, I'm sorry to hold you up, Janelle, but as I put the PDF file in, it bounced me back to now comment on how to uh, reconfigure the PDF file. Mm, it, do it doesn't work, though. It doesn't. It didn't. It's broken. It's broken for a while. It's broken mm -hmm. for years. Um, yeah, it so didn't sorry work. about that. Yeah. You can go online, buddy. I think there's free, um, free yeah. um, PDF to, to, you know, to dot, dot X or whatever. Yeah, but PDF I was here with you all. I was flipping. Yeah. yeah. PDF, PDF dot IO has uh, various tools that work. There are okay. others as well, but that's the one I use. Um, I, it, it has a limit on uh, your dissertation may be too long. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm sure sure it is. Three pages. I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> You might want to take a little All right. <laughs> Okay. I'll try some. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, both of you. Um, Bonnie, when are you starting Long Division? And uh well, probably by the end of the week, we went to the Philadelphia Film Festival and saw the film Girls Will Be Girls, which was the coming of age story about a girl who was getting the heebie jeebies because she wanted to have sex. And the children went goofy on me, 16, 17, 18 years old. But now I'm in like decompress mode. Like it's taking wait, two wait, wait till they see Casey Lyman. <laughs> Lyman. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's I pretty know, and, But I think they'll, they'll think there's something wrong with you, Bonnie. I know. <laughs> even though and the next day, even though they, they were all crazy about First of all, they started talking about why would you take us to a porno movie? I'm like, porno? I'm a teacher. They invited youth there. What do you mean? So it was really crazy their responses. And our 11th graders, come on. Jeez. Yeah, I got okay, one okay. parent to call. They just moved to Philadelphia from Texas. So, mm -hmm. okay. So that parent is going to be your imagined audience? <laughs> that parent is, is talking to her daughter now, yes. <laughs> All right. Who wears uh, really clothing. Janelle, so, by the way, we um, her students are going to annotate those long division. And um, what's the other one? Oh, tell, say, say I'm, I'm, dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Um, and But then what we've figured out is how to... How to take those annotations and ask for themes out of it, out of those annotations, yeah. and and then use the outline into et cetera, et cetera. It's a whole sort of pathway toward going from the annotations to the 
to the writing. What what I do first is introduce them to the authors. I always yeah. do this author thing first. So they know. And I have to let you know that I just got in the mail the new 1619 image, the new book. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'll get to show it to you next time. I didn't even open you, the box you need, yet. You need another life to do everything. I gotta go. Speaking of other lives, yeah, yeah. I gotta go handle that other life. I'll talk to you later. Right. Okay. Bye, Bye everybody. See you.